Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with another War of the Visions video. And today we're going to take a look at the meta of War of the Visions. What are your top units in the game right now? What are your top team comps in the game right now? What are the sweatiest of the sweatiest players currently running to, you know, pound everybody else into the ground? We're going to take a look and we're going to start on a uh, votive stats right here. This is a fantastic site that tracks guild battles in War of the Visions. Now, you'll notice about right here, right here on this chart, there's a huge mix up for mix up for both offense and defense. What we're looking at here is June 1st on the far left of the screen, basically behind where my head is to July 4th. But this date right here before the big shakeup is June the 18th, which was a regular Guild Wars day. The site does not track data for limited Guild Wars for a lot of reasons. And then we have this jump in time to the 2nd of July. So the last, the farthest right part of this graph is gonna give us the most updated information and all the stuff to the left is just for June. Or June, well, she's on there, but June. We're looking at the top 20 guilds in the game for their offense and defense, their top 10 units. Let's start with offense. So right now you can see, and I'll put my mouse over it so you can see the percentages a little bit too. Sephiroth and Gilgamesh absolutely dominating. If you pull for Sephiroth during Advent Children, you are getting dividends paid for that, especially if you either wailed a little bit and got yourself Gilgamesh for the you know, 12K paid or found another way to get him. That's a really powerful combo. It's a really powerful combo for a couple of reasons. I want to show you something. So Gilgamesh right here, I got his page pulled up. He is a sword red mage unit. If we go to the ultra powerful, awesome, you know, spreadsheet of vision cards, this is the Katana weapon page and it has really good overlap with sword red mage. You can see right here, sword red mage. This is an AOE resist card, sword red mage, magical man killer sword red mage crit rate spirit slash pin sword red mage all over the place here including aoe resist aoe resist and an agility card so there's really good crossover right here and katana is in a pretty good spot if we come back over here you'll see um kadaj hanging out there at about eighth most played unit so he's pairing nicely with them you just have a very very powerful team comp you see uh summer glassy who fits into that comp as well with the with the gilgamesh summer glassy combo so there's a unit uh, Summer Glassy, I believe she might be the oldest unit on this list. King Bradley's pretty old too. And Astris, Astrius the Erudite, I believe he came out after all of them. Either way, those are some of the older units that are still kind of holding down the fort. Great swords. Hey, we're still living in a world of great swords, especially if you get back in time just a little bit. Uh, before the rise of Sephiroth and Gilgamesh, it was all great swords. We're talking Cloud. I mean, if you pulled Cloud and you're like, man, I didn't pull Sephiroth, I pulled Cloud. Oh no, instead of the number one meta unit, you have the fifth meta unit. You're still in the top 10. You're still doing good. And you still have plenty of great people to pair him with, like your Joom, the Celestials, your A2s of the world. I mean, Asterisk, the Erudite, is like maintaining relevance one because he's a great sword unit and two because there's a lot of water units on this list and so his ability to be kind of counter element to kadaj to summer glassy that's that's helped joom right that's helping him stay in there he's definitely not as strong as joom or a2 by himself but he fits nicely into their team and he will find some water people to spark up a little bit in the current game so there's your offensive breakdown big shout out to the king bradley ash and king mont players out there like there's an earth team you know a sword warrior team that's really you know hanging in there keeping my squall relevant i appreciate that y'all so that's the current offensive thing in war of the visions if we go look at the defense it's a lot of the same your top two units continue to be sephiroth and gilgamesh and then there's a whole bunch of great sword there's summer glassy mix in there for those gilgamesh comps i I mean, it is essentially a mirror of the top. Strategist old Doa, you know, squeezes in there instead of King Bradley, but, you know, okay, whatever. We're kind of trading 10th for 11th, maybe something like that. Either way, it's you're still seeing a lot of great sword defenses or you're seeing a lot of you know, the Sephiroth Gilgamesh defenses out there in the top 20. It's very hard. Like one thing about the current meta in War of the Visions is it's tough 
right now to compete with either of the top two or three meta teams if you don't have some piece of that yourself. You don't necessarily have to have like the meta team, but you need core pieces of it. Like you're a Sephiroth or a Cloud to build around or something like that. There it is. There's kind of my uh, and feelings about the meta right now is it's tough. If we were to expand the guilds to let's say the top 500 guilds in the game, the picture changes but not by much. What you see if we do that is Cloud and Sephiroth, obviously just being Final Fantasy VII units, are popular enough that basically everybody in the game pulled them. But Joom the Spring Celestial continues to just dominate up here. Just dominate. And even Helena the Black Rose, she was such a popular pull and she continues to be relevant in Guild Wars right? People are still using her today. If we were to go look at defenses for the top 500 guilds, this, which is basically like anybody who's trying to compete and has been for a while, I feel like it's a very similar story. Again, it's basically the same units in the same order. And I don't know, that's, it's not, it's okay. The, it, it does mix it up a bit. The young Helena, man, she's hanging on. That chick has stayed relevant in this game for a long time. Time. All right, guys, that's the uh, that's the meta analysis right there. So I people have been asking me about doing a new tier list for War of the Visions. It's almost an impossible thing to do. Every time I do a tier list, it is. I usually look forward to reading the comments sections and videos. But to be honest with you guys, like I don't even have all these units myself anymore. I don't spend as much as I used to in Wotiv, and like I do have a good feel for what the meta is, but. Uh, I don't know, I just don't, that, that, that's a road that I don't always like to go down. I'll put it like that. So at least here, you can see what the top units in the game are. And if you wanna be competitive at the very top, here it is. Also with tier lists, one of the things about that is like guild raids would have its very own tier list. Um, hard mode PVE would have its own tier list. Limited PVP would have its own tier list. There are a lot of different modes in this game to make tier lists about. This way, I'm just showing you what the top 10 units are that people are running in PVP at the highest level, and maybe you have a piece of that. I hope your account does have a piece of that. Okay, thank you all for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you, and have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Peace.